Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. This is uh, Julio with uh, Crown JP Ranch. I'm gonna be teaching you guys uh, a little bit on how to how to make a bozal with a uh, with two strand ropes. Um, but beforehand, I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that that we have available. This is a training bozal with reins. So this is some of the stuff that we work with. And that we do for some of our clients. Um, I don't know if you could zoom in so you could see. And this is very sturdy, very hard and and tough. And the back is um, it's easily it could easily be adjusted. But I usually make these bazaar to the bazaars themselves from uh, 24 inches to 26. Now that being said, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move on to the hackamore that I'm gonna be doing today. This is the end result of the hackamore that uh that I'm doing. But today I'm just gonna be doing the bazaar with uh with the two strand rope and each um each strand has uh three three um strands tied to, to itself. Okay, so I want to show you the final product and the process that involves this is this is last, but the first process that we're gonna start with is this right here. And it's it's uh, seven, seven feet and four inches, I believe, what I cut it to, fold it in half. Then once I fold it in half, what I do is um, I get tape. I don't know if, uh, if you guys can see, but I'm going to show you guys the materials that I use for the process of making this uh, bazaar, which is uh, deer antler. I have two sets. Some are better than others. Scissors, tape, and some pliers. Now, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. I'd appreciate it. And if you like and share, then that would really be appreciated. Anyhow, going back to this, um, this is like I said, seven feet and five or six inches, however you want to do it. Once this is done, I fold it in half. Once it's folded in half, I fold it in half again. And I put tape at the very center of the rope once it's folded in half, right? And this is what the process is. So I put tape at the very center Put them together, same here, same here, and every other inch, I do the same until I have, like I said, it's 12 inches, 24 inches to 26, right? And then I, before I start unthreading this, I combine all four ropes and I put tape around as tight as I can so it doesn't move and so it's equally even on, on both sides, right? Once that's done, these, I'm going to unwind these, all four of these, and this is, one is, this is what, what it's going to end up to, right? Once this is done, this is what's going to be the last of uh, of the the braiding and the and the knot called um, the diamond knot with uh, four strands, but each each strand has three. So I this is the four strands, right? And each one of these has three strands. Now, once I unwind all these, this is what I'm gonna end up with. Now that being said, I'm going to start making the uh, the diamond knot. And then once I start making the diamond knot, I'm going to I'm going to take the first uh, first 3, second 3, third 3 and fourth 3 strands. And I'm going to start with the one on my left and I'm going to Hold the first, the second three, go over and hold it. 
So I'm coming over and I'm holding it with my uh, left hand. So I'm going over the first three strands, holding it. And I'm going to the right. So now I'm going to do the same with the with the other one that we just uh, went went over. This one is going to go over. And I'm going to hold that one. And that being said, the last one is going to go over. And I'm going to hold that one as well. Once this hold, once I, I've hold, I once I've held it, what I'm going to do now is. Do the same process, but I'm going over and under. So I'm going to go over and under. To where I have this, right? And then once I have this made. I'm going to bring the, the one on the left. I'm going to go over. I'm going to skip one. Skip two under and in through the center. Now this is this could be a little hard to see on the camera but but if I show you guys you see under each one that that comes out there's going to be a point where this is going to go introduced through in and it's going to come out through the center okay so I'm going to start and I'm gonna skip the first, the first three strands on my right, skip the second one, second three strands, and then I'm gonna go over the back and in through the center. Okay, that being said, I'm gonna take all three of these, see if I can make it, and if not, then I'm gonna do one by one. So the first three went around the back, Okay, I was able to do it. So this was the first one. The second one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go jump the uh, first three, which is where these came out. Jump over the first three, second three, around the back, and then through the center. Luckily, I, I have enough space to work with. that I I have to do this, right? I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to jump the first three. And then the second three, I'm going to go under. So, here are the first three. Second three, under, and then through the center. Same with this one. First, first three, second three, and then through the center. Now I'm doing this with all three of these, but usually I do it one by one. But I, I, I gave myself enough rope so that I could work with it. So here's your diamond knot. Once I have it done, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull one by one slow, slowly, and then turn, and then tighten up slowly. Same with this, tighten up slowly and turn, tighten up slowly and turn, tighten up slowly and turn, tighten up slowly. And turn slowly and turn slowly and turn. So once I have that, I'm gonna pull the center ones one by one, slow as well.
and this is how it's looking okay so once you start working and, and tightening up this is where the deer antler comes in again put it in through the first three I hold it and then I tighten up Then I do the same with this one. And I go turn it and I turn around as as I'm going. And now I pull again slowly one by one. One by one. And this is the way it's looking okay now since this is just a tutorial I'm not dedicating so much time to to making the to to unif to make to making these aligned so that they're all even this is just a tutorial for you guys to to get an idea of how the bozal is made with uh, with two strands and and this is the way it's turning out so now that I've done this I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna pull one by one. And as I'm pulling, I'm separating. So that I know what I've pulled. Once I do this, there's a trick that I do and it works really well as well that you guys might want to do. I get really hot water and I pour the hot water on this, on the knot itself, and then I pull again with the pliers and that makes your knot much more smaller because it gives it room to stretch because of the heat. So just wanted to let you guys know, uh, please give me a thumbs up, share. Thank you again for watching, and um, this is what the uh, bazaar looks, as you guys can see. And once again, this is the final product of the Hackamore. I'm going to do another tutorial on how to do this braiding in front of the bazaar in the future. Um, Best of luck, guys. Uh, please give me some, some comments if, uh, if you enjoyed the video. And uh, please share and subscribe. See you next time.